You guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Wilderness Boy video. In this week's video, um, I'm going to be taking these silkworms. Um, they're the silkworm cocoons with all the silk. And I'm going to be turning them into either gauze or bandages from this, which I found ab out about with just kind of thinking and thought it would make a cool video. It's just an experiment. We don't know if it'll work or not. But um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing you need is you need a knife. I mean, you don't need it, but just to get the inside... They um they um have this inside like stuff in it. It's kind of brown and it doesn't really matter. But I'm just gonna extract that. Out. I'm just gonna extract that out. I'm just gonna cut that out. I mean, you don't need to, but. I might not, it just it's kind of time consuming, but there's some stuff that just comes out. So we'll just be um, working on these for a bit and we'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, see that stuff? That's just from the thing. You're gonna just undo it. And... It's from the silkworm shedding their skin. Well, not shedding it, they actually liquefy inside the their cocoons and that's how they turn into moths. And um, we are breeding these, that's why we're not spinning them out. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna be cutting these open. Doesn't take a while, just get a sharp knife and cut them like I am doing. The other way didn't really work too well. And um, yeah, we'll do this. Once we get this all done to all of them, we'll be back with you guys. All right, guys. So um, here it they all are all cut um they're all cut in here's this stuff you don't have to take it out it's all right if there's still some stuff in there but you it just makes the bandages more like i don't know it just makes them look better and yeah then you're the you're gonna have some warm water here and you're just gonna take them and um just dunk it in it and um keep in mind this is just an experiment of course but then you're gonna we're gonna just pull them apart when they're nice and moist. Then there's all the silk as you can see. And we're just gonna let them soak for a bit and then we'll be back with you. All right guys, it's been about 30 minutes. Um, We have it all here. I've been um, t pulling on it a little bit, um, but and we've exchanged the water once, and now it's um, kind of like this, and you just wanna pull out the threads, cause it's um, moist now, and you can just pull out the threads pretty easily. As you can see, I'm just pulling them out. And with the ones that hatched, this is the easy way, this way to get the cotton, or the um, silk out, and you just wanna pull it and work it until it like until you get like a uh it nice enough that like you would um that it's ready for pressing and then i have these um two pieces of cardboard here and i'll lay out the silk on here and um i'll flatten it out then i'll compress it with here and put it under like something heavy and um, then after like a little bit of this being um compressed of the silk being compressed we'll pull it out and we'll fluff up one end because gauze, if you get like a cut, it, ha it has silk that like kind of stops the bleeding. So that's the point that we're trying to get through this. So we're gonna um, pull this for a while and uh, we'll be back with you when, you're, when we're done. So um, we've ruffled it up. It's just sitting in some um, hot water right now. It's nice and good. So we're just gonna get a bit of the water out and then we're gonna take this and um, we're gonna spread it over here. I might get a little bit more water out of it. And I'm just gonna be covering up these um, these different holes and um, moving the silk around and stretching it further to get the fibers, every fiber 
out so it's not all like just not all together in these like balls because it's like it's been it has water on it so it'll like it's silk and it like gets all sticky when it's has water so we're just gonna be moving this around and then we're gonna just place this on top and compress it really tightly and um yeah then we'll have our gauze so stick with us. all right guys so um now we have this other piece of cardboard and it doesn't really look like the gauze right now or anything but hey it's just an experiment and then if this method doesn't work then we're gonna take this and chop it up and make smaller fibers and then try that so we're just gonna try a few things so i'm gonna compress this onto here and just push down really hard and get a lot of the more a lot of the water out and then i'll just put something heavy on it and keep it compressed for a while and um yeah we'll be back with you in a bit all right guys so um here's this um, thing from yesterday uh it's kind of more like kind of a fabric-y paper but um, I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna ruffle this stuff up. And if this doesn't work, then I'm gonna chop it into smaller fibers and retry it again tonight. So yeah. All right, so yeah guys, I'm gonna have to chop this into a smaller fiber and I'll be back with you guys when I do. All right guys, so here's what I did. I chopped it up with this knife here and um, I made it a lot more like, there's a lot less um, lawn fiber strands and more just like little pieces that are in here. And I it made it a lot more like, fluffy and so we're gonna then just take this put it in the water and um soak it for a while and try the same step again so yes to grind um i took it out of here and i slowly spread it onto here and um i spreaded the fibers and um hopefully that'll work um if it doesn't then i'm just gonna totally shred it and try it again all right guys it's the next morning here it is um it's definitely a lot softer, so I'm going to cut it and see what I can make out of it. See you in a minute. All right, guys, so we finished this up, and as you can see, it's a square. It's a little bit falling apart, but all you, you can just use a little bit of tree resin or put a piece of tape on the back and cut it. And then all you have to do is you just take this and um, just take a piece of string when you get a cut on your hand, and you just tie that down, and um, hopefully it'll work. So I'll probably be taking this out, and if I am, like, get something while I'm out trapping or anything, I'll record it and show you guys what, ha what, like how it goes. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and comment helps out. Um, share the video to a friend if you think they'll enjoy. Yeah, guys. See you down the line. Peace.